think it's I think it's recording. Hello. So it's been quite a bit since I've done videos like this. Um, so yeah, I just kind of had a little bit of spare time today, so I just decided to do one. It's another tarot video. Um, I hope wherever you are, your day is going well. I hope wherever predicament you find yourself in, it just kind of smooths itself out and everything like that, you know? Nothing really troublesome lasts forever. Just have to keep faith and just keep pushing forward, you know, that everything's going well. So yeah, here I am with another tarot reading. I got a glass of water. Here for you. Water for me. And a Fiji bottle. I just keep reusing this Fiji bottle just because, you know, it's better to reuse stuff and everything like that. And it's not that bad. It's a nice thick plastic bottle. And, uh, yeah. So I have a... Doing some tarot readings now. I got a new desk. I work from home now, so it's a really good thing. And, yeah. I decided I needed a desk for my computer equipment. Because I got some more computer equipment. Which kind of makes me feel like one of those, like, gamer people. With all the equipment and everything like that. I feel, like, super techie. If that makes any sense. And, uh, yeah. So we'll just use these tarot cards. Some of them are pretty beaten up. My poor loving bunny, um, who is not feeling so well at the moment because he just got out of surgery. But he's okay, though. He's fine. But, um, he's definitely taken a number on these cards. You know, I came home one night and he was chewing on my cards. And not just this deck, but other decks, too. Which kind of sucked. You know, some of these, some of these decks are expensive. But, uh, this is my favorite deck. But, uh, yeah, so... It's okay, you know. I'll give him some... Yeah, it's alright. You know, I'll give him some points there. Just because of the fact, you know, he's in pain and everything like that. And, you know. He didn't mean to do it. He's my little baby boy. I have a soft spot for him. And, um, I didn't go to the store to buy new tarot cards yet. So, I'm just gonna do with this kind of rundown deck, but that's okay. Um, just think of your intention. I probably should have said that first, but think of your intention. Whatever you want to manifest, whatever you want clarity on, and then just kind of think about it. Pause the video, even if you have to, and then just take a moment to breathe in and out and just focus on that question. Focus on that answer or whatever clarity that you're looking for in this situation, and then just unpause it, and then we'll get back to the video, okay? So yeah, even take time if you need to to do that. I'll be here. Alrighty. Let's do this. focused on? What kind of energy do you want to manifest? To try to get some clarity on and, and everything like that. Alright, now that you have the question in mind, let's do this. Ooh, this flipped out first. Ooh, three already. Damn. Alrighty, so six of cups in reverse. I like feel myself shaking a little bit as I take it out. It's kind of weird, you know? But um, six of cup first, nine of cups in reverse. Not in reverse, upright. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. I sense a lot of Earth energy, so maybe you have Earth or have dominant Earth in your chart. Ooh, that flopped down. Ace of Cups. It kind of came out sideways, but I'm going to take it up as up front. You have also a lot of emotion. 
you have a tendency to hide your emotions maybe or you also have a tendency to kind of um not share what's on your mind or kind of dwell in your emotions alone we also have the queen of pentacles upright so um i get sense a lot of feminine energy so maybe you have like a lot of feminine uh energy or feminine kind of planets or dominations in your birth chart whatever um like maybe you have a lot of earth and water water and earth are tend to be known as feminine signs air and fire are masculine so yeah yeah money on the brain maybe that's something that's kind of on your brain right now something on the brain must be love on the brain I think that's how that song goes. I forget. It's been a while since I've heard that song. But, uh, yeah, I just get that song for some weird reason. I don't know why. Must be love on the brain. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe you have something on your mind. Ooh, my Lanta. This also came out halfway, too. But I'm going to take it as upright. So we have the five of cups upright. I sense that you f have a lot of guilt or shame towards something. I have people, my mom and my sister are texting me. I will text you as soon as I'm done, I promise. But, um, so maybe that's the thing too. Maybe people are blowing up your phone and you're not really messaging them back. Maybe you've kind of gone AWOL for a bit. Um, what's the word? Maybe you're just kind of, my neck's itchy, but um, maybe you're just kind of thinking about stuff in your thoughts or whatnot. Um, maybe people are messaging you and you just don't have the energy to message them back or talk to them. Um, it could be just because like maybe you find them very emotionally overbearing or um, you don't want to talk to them. Or it's also too that you have a lot of like it's like a mixture it's like people that you don't want to talk to you um they're blowing up your phone uh you have people that you do care about but you're not messaging them just because you're not you know in the right headspace or kind of feel off about something and then it's also too that you also want some solidarity or some clarity or self-reflection that you're not getting um you're in your head a lot and i think that's a big issue that you have is that you have an issue of being in your head a lot and kind of not really what's the words um you do a lot of self-reflection and just keeping everything in for some weird reason i don't know if maybe that is you or whatnot but i just sense somebody sitting there like it reminds me because i've been watching stranger things recently like re-watching it and good show but um it reminds me of Elle when she is in the in-between, not yet to the upside down, but in between, um, where she's going into that, like, it's like this big kind of black vastness, and she's like walking, and she sees things both in this world and that world. It's kind of like the in-between. And like, I feel like you're in that area. Like, it's just this strange thing where you just feel like you're in this area of in-between. Uh, you could be in-between phases, in-between jobs. I also sense maybe in-between, uh, like, stages of your life. Maybe you've had something recently powerfully happen to you. And it's not the fact that it's hard for you to adjust because I sense that you've become more and more adaptable over the years or over whatever time span that this change occurred but um it's more or less like kind of self-charging or like you're just kind of like this in between of future and past where like it's not like you're reflecting back on the past or worried about the future because sometimes you are um worried about the future or um, like maybe you are a very easily guilted person, so maybe you guilt yourself on lots of things that happened in the past that were way out of your control. But um, I sense this kind of in-between stage where you're like, you're walking this tightrope of not then, not back before, but now. 
like you're in this now stage but it's like almost like you feel like time doesn't exist or like you're just kind of you feel like time is slowly dragging by in some sorts um and i just sense that you're in this energy of self-reflection and like i think your biggest problem like maybe people have told you this in the past but i sense that people have told you that you've probably been stuck in like this la la land for the majority of your life that maybe you've always been this kind of person who's just been stuck in like some sort of dream state or like people would tell you to get your head up your out of your ass or um out of the clouds or even um get yourself back down to earth like people tell you a lot that you just seem to not have a head in the real world if that makes sense um but then people tell you too that you're not really like oh you're not you know like you do have a sense of what's going on like it's kind of difficult because you are aware of everything but you seem unavailable if that makes any sense at this moment like i just sense this like kind of severe depression or this severe um kind of thing hitting you and you're just kind of like you're this in between stages like you're not entirely sad you're not entirely happy you're just kind of like this kind of like weirdly unemotional kind of thing but you do have a lot of emotions um that is kind of like i just sense somebody um like a emotionally not drained but you are drained sometimes but an emotionally intertwined person where they live and breathe their emotions and also too you have a lot of emotions you are a sensitive person and i sense somebody just keeping all this in like I feel like the majority of the times when you get upset, you probably feel it in your chest. You probably feel it in your heart, more or less. You feel it in your heart and in your throat. I sense somebody getting, like, kind of choked up a bit and then, like, kind of trying not to cry. Or maybe you shake when you get upset. But the thing is, is that a lot of people, like, are seeing this kind of masked emotion or masked emotions of you and they don't know what's going on. And it's because you're kind of, like, in this weird... Like, maybe you're in this hormonal imbalance. Um, maybe it's perhaps, like, maybe you take medication or um, you're dealing with a lot of stress, too. Um, it's, like, a lot of factors on top, and it's, like, imbalancing you in a way. And, like, the thing is, is that, like, it's never... And I feel like this, too, like, maybe, you, like, you just... I feel like this detachment of sense of not relating to people anymore as much as you used to or not understanding um why somebody does something that they do but um it's just more or less like you're kind of like detaching yourself from people which is a good thing but it's also a bad thing like it's a good thing because you're trying to get a control of yourself like i sense you're really trying to work hard on yourself and be a better person but i also sense too that like you feel kind of at this standpoint of like Am I ever going to get there? I probably will get there. I just need time and space and energy and motivation to keep going. And I feel like that's what you keep telling yourself. And um, I feel like maybe that was like a lightning bolt uh, kind of epiphany that you didn't have until recently or up until a very long time. Um, you're kind of sitting and staying this energy I sense like if people are demanding something from you like your time your attention and you feel like you need a break from them you're just like you don't give a fuck anymore you're just like kind of like I need my space I need my time that's it or um no I don't want to go out tonight okay stop you know um kind of harassing me on it uh or um if somebody's like like, I also sense, like, it's a mixture. Like, it could be on one hand, like, again, this is a general reading, so I get energies, you know, multiple energies. But on the one side, maybe um, you're very, you have quite a temper on you. So when somebody gives you sass or gives you kind of like this, like, um, kind of backhanded compliment, you give it right back. So I sense of a, an energy of don't fuck with me, don't piss me off because I'm pissed off. Or I will give it right back to you. Um, I sense that kind of energy. And then I also sense this other energy of kind of like 
just not reacting to anything and just kind of being unemotional towards when somebody offends you just kind of like you know fuck you and then just kind of like walking away and everything like that but it's like kind of weird because like on the one hand you're like kind of like maybe it's just like a mixture of both but like you know this very emotional um angered mass and then this very kind of detached uninterested um logically s discovering things if that makes any sense but yeah like i sense all of that and it's just kind of like this weird mixture and it's making you kind of feel like you have to seclude or isolate yourself from people at the moment so it's kind of it's it's quite it's harsh ace of pentacles so maybe you're working up your goals working up the courage to do what you actually want to do in life but I also sense that you don't really feel um, the best. Like mentally, physically, you feel quite run down. You feel um, like you're not in your best headspace. You feel maybe people or your peers are at this level and you're still at this level. And you're really working hard to bump up levels because you're tired of being considered... Um, a basic level or kind of like a low life or um somebody who's just not really like you don't like it when people think of you as someone who is less than anything like you hate it when people think that you're incapable of doing things or that you're not an actual adult or that they just kind of have a very negative or low picture when they picture you like they don't really think that you're a capable person um or that you can't do anything right or that you're like some loser or i get the words and it's kind of mean but like i get the words retard you're retarded for doing you and not just doing anything but like just being yourself people think that you're retarded like people think that you're like just this big loser and it could also be, too, that maybe you think as well that people think that you're a loser. And, like, that also, like, because we are our own worst critics. And, like, I feel like you do talk down to yourself a lot. Uh, maybe it's just out of habits. Maybe it's just people, like, I sense energies of just where people have constantly put you down and put you in places um, that made you feel less than dirt. Which kind of, it's not right. It's very unjust. And not only that, but it makes you feel as if nothing you do is right. Nothing you do is good. And that's really, like, it sucks because you are a good person. Like, don't tell yourself that you're incapable of having goals, achieving goals, and leaving a good impact for your life. You know, like, don't worry about what other people think of you. And I know that's easier said than done. That's with any of us. You know, we're always constantly worried about what people think of us or how we go about situations, what people think that we should do, or um, if people think that we got our shit together. But um, I just want to advise you, like, just take it easy on yourself. Um, like, just please, just take it easy on yourself. You're okay. You're human, you know, like, don't think that you're some piece of shit and then just keep lowering your standards for yourself, you know, like, you are and you can be a good person. And you're not, like, I'm not saying, like I said, you are and you can be, you know, you just gotta have the strength and push forward and pull forward. And I know you probably keep telling yourself that, but, um... I'm just going to reiterate it to you because you have a lot of low self-esteem right now and maybe for a very long time and that sucks alrighty and also too don't overthink I get the words don't overthink anything you know or like maybe you feel angry that like people aren't really there when you need them as much or don't really support um like they just kind of make you feel like a you know, like everything's your fault for anything. Like you're, you're designed to like self kind of just isolate yourself. 
people think that you're weird, you know? I think whatever you do is kind of weird. I don't think that. Fuck them. Big battle. Maybe you get into fights with people a lot easier now. Or maybe you just have this fighting attitude in the world. And I sense too that like, maybe you're the kind of person or maybe it's just until of recent that you have to have the last word or that you have to make sure that in an argument you win the argument or do you tell people to fuck off like i feel like you're this type of energy not afraid to tell people to fuck off when you want to i also it's kind of like because if you are a sweet sensitive like i i just sense like this kind of like ice cream pop when you, you know, like those chocolate covered ice cream pops and stuff like that, where it's all this hard or dark, dark chocolate or whatever kind of chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever, like coating on the outside. And it's like kind of thick and it's dark and it's very hard and frozen. Like, I feel like that's what you are coming across as at times, or that's what you feel like people, maybe they think of you as that. But when you think of yourself, you think of the soft center, like like the tasty, soft center of ice cream after that, like chocolate coating, like the vanilla or whatnot. Like maybe you think of yourself as vanilla or like a baby vanilla or even like this like kind of like little cute, like it reminds me of like the cinnamon bun, like where it's like kind of like coating you know, it's like the cinnamon bun, but the center of the cinnamon is all like all this gooey, soft, sweet, and very warm kind of thing. Like, I, I just, like, you're probably a very big sweetheart. Like, you really are a big sweetheart. And you, like, you're like this kind of like this cute little plushie, if that makes any sense. You know, you're this big bundle of softness and adorable. And I feel like people just kind of drag you down and make you feel like shit but um you have like this fighting side to you you're like not afraid to say mean words you know like i hear the words um go big or go home so maybe you say a lot of like maybe you're you have an issue with saying words and then instantly regretting them later like maybe you talk with your foot in your mouth where you say things and they come out wrong or you say things and you think that they're just or that like oh yeah like I needed to say this but you end up really hurting a lot of people's feelings or maybe people think that you're kind of mean because you say the wrong things um or you can be kind of nasty and, and freak out and snap at people but then you instantly regret, regret it because you also have this very soft center you know I like my throat is kind of dry. It's very dry. Maybe you run out of words to say to people sometimes, or maybe you talk to somebody, maybe a therapist or something, you've just run out of words to say to them. Or maybe you get choked up when you're trying to say things to people, especially meaningful things. Queen of Swords. In reverse cutting out some energy I sense a lot of cutting things out but I also sense a lot of holding on to things so the thing is is that with the swords energy that's like kind of dominating right now I sense a lot of clarity and truth like you're not afraid to give people harsh truth which kind of is like makes you look like an asshole but also to you yourself are discovering some very harsh truths at the moment that's probably my bunny um and like you're just kind of like discovering things and kind of basing things off of what you discover like i feel like whatever you're discovering whatever knowledge that you're taking in you're trying to apply to situations This came out up like this, but then it flipped out like that. So maybe you have a problem with patience. Maybe you have no patience, woman, or maybe you are impatient. 
where people are telling you, like maybe it's a certain situation where people are telling you to just be patient and just see how things play out or just be patient in general. But you're not a patient person. Like you're very angsty, very, you know, kind of back and forth, this very big dominant energy. And I feel like that's also too a big problem that you have um, of, I feel like, hold on just one second. What are you doing, man? You're turning on the login? Yeah, you're turning on the login. Oh, little boy. I'm ready to drink you. You're on the damn wall. You have pizza? chewing on the wall i took the cone off of him they said to take it off periodically so that way it doesn't really give him sores <sighs> he's chewing on the wall how's your cut though oh you're in pain buddy i'm gonna have to put the cone back on you don't ignore that just my sister she's calling me but yeah like you know it's hard, especially when things require patience and you need patience, but sometimes you just have to be patient. Um, what I really recommend is not only just listening to music or just trying to take into uh, different, you know, genres or different um, things just to kind of distract yourself, but also to like calm and find other healthier habits to calm yourself in these states because with this devil energy, that's a big thing, that's a big issue, is the fact that you lack patience or that you have this kind of fierce, temperate side to you. It's okay. She was being a butt. But, um, so yeah, like, I feel like that's what is bothering you. So I really recommend just kind of taking the day in and out one at a time, you know? And I feel like allowing yourself to get that kind of calm energy and a positive self-reflection will give you a positive outlook whenever you're feeling down. I also see strength popping out. So yeah, let that be your strength. I also see Queen of Wands too. So let the light or let positive outlooks be your guide, be your comforter. Are you in pain? He's in pain. He's in pain. Let things be positive and have a positive outcome. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the comb back on you. Since you're chewing on the wall. So after the video, I'll put the comb back on you. Chewing on the damn wall. My little cutie. But yeah, so that's what I really recommend. And just taking things in day by day. And not being too hard on yourself. You know, love, life, positivity. There are good in the world. Well, I should say there is good in the world, you know? And you're capable of good as well. And don't let others people think that you're a shithead or a shitty person. So that's all I have to say. That is your reading. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Say goodbye. Bye. I hope your day gets better. All right.
Bye. Boop.